hello my fellow foodies and welcome to Cooking with Dan. Today we're going to make vegan ramen. Now the first time I tried ramen it was at a restaurant called Jinya Ramen Bar. So I went online and I found this recipe and this recipe is done by carrots and flowers. So we're going to try it out and see how it goes. As always I will leave a link to the recipe down below. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to preheat our oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And then after, as you can see, what I've done already here is you've got to press the water out as much as possible. Then after you've done that, what you're going to do is you're going to cut them in one inch squares. After that, we're going to season them. Next, we're going to take one teaspoon of cornstarch and mix it around here. And we're going to toss that around a little bit. And then we're going to add our two tablespoons of soy sauce. Now, once that's done, we're going to bake them for 20 minutes. Now the recipe calls for putting some parchment paper, but uh, I kind of forgot to do that. So we're just going to go ahead and put them right here on this glass. All right, we're going to put this in the oven to bake for 20 minutes. Halfway through, we're going to turn them around so that they bake evenly. So the next thing you're going to do is add your noodles into the boiling water. So for myself, I've got some buckwheat ramen noodles and I'm going to add that right into the boiling water. And you're going to have to spread it around and cook just like it's directed on your package. All right, now that the noodles are boiling, we're going to start on our vegetables. So what we're going to do is we're going to get one teaspoon of sesame oil. And we're going to add that right in there. And that's going to be on medium high heat. So right after that, we're going to add our mushrooms, our corn, and our tablespoon of soy sauce. And we're going to cook that until it darkens. So as you can see, our mushrooms are now nice and brown. So we're going to set it aside. So next we're going to preheat some more sesame oil on medium high again. Next we're going to add our shallots and garlic. And we're going to mix that and saute it for about 3-4 minutes. So as you can see, our shallots and chopped garlic are nice and sauteed. And next, we're going to transfer them over to the blender. So we're going to add our shallots and our garlic right into the blender along with the rest of the ingredients that you see on the list. So we're going to go ahead and add our four cups of mushroom broth, a quarter cup of roasted sunflower seeds, three tablespoons of red miso, two tablespoons of nutritional yeast, one tablespoon of soy, two teaspoons of sesame oil, two teaspoons of chili oil and one tablespoon of minced ginger. All right, now that we have all the ingredients there, we're going to cover this up and we're going to blend until smooth. Next, you're going to get a saucepan and you're going to heat the broth until hot. Just look at that creaminess. Now that our ramen broth is nice and hot, it's time to put everything together.
you have been cooking with dan thanks for watching